This is a manometer or a manometer, and it's a scientific measuring device to pressure test your pipe work, whether that be for gas or liquid. Today I'm going to test out my soil pipes because I need to know that they're proper tight because we don't want any stuff going anywhere, do we? The building inspector needs to know that it's all good as well. This is actually called a YouTube one. For YouTube? <laughs> you can flood test your pipes, but that's quite complicated. It's a lot easier just to do an air test and pressure test it and get one of these little things. This is an analog one. You can get digital ones. Obviously you wouldn't get a digital one if you're a DIY. Just grab one of these, you can get it in kit form. I'll show you what I got. I bought a full kit to begin with. Uh, so I got the manometer, I got a length of tube that I cut down. You get a little um, freeway connector there. This is how you pressurize it. That will hook onto your bungs. So you put these into your pipes and then you screw them down and it expands out this edge bit so it squashes against the edge. First time I'd done this, it was leaking. I decided that these were a bit rubbish. I tried PTFE tape, it didn't really work. So if you was gonna get the kit, you can get it without these. You can just get these bits. So do that and then get the metal ones. Instead of this stupid plastic one, get one of these. So it's the metal one. So you can undo that and then you basically put it on there and then there's a hole where you pressurize the pipe. My problem was actually this part mostly uh, because the, the actual plastic bit, when I pushed it in, it wasn't, there wasn't a proper seal. It was actually letting gas out or pressure. So I put Jubilee clips on as well. You don't get the Jubilee clips in the kit. You have to buy them separately, but it's a good idea to get. What you want to do when you get it, instead of just going for your proper pressure chest on your drainage system, just get an off cut of pipe you need to test it first to make sure it's going to hold pressure because if it's losing pressure somewhere then you're not going to be able to properly test your actual pipe work are you so obviously one of them you keep this on so you just place it in you need to do it as, as much as you can otherwise the air will leak past the other side you're going to take that off there's little bungs in the bottom of these caps so that's got a rubber bung in it we'll just screw this on first here I'm gonna put it in I need to put some liquid into the manometer but because the system is sealed now the liquid won't go through properly so I'm just gonna take off the little end cap on that side and then I'll bring you down I'll show you exactly what to do there first task you just need to get the liquid into the tube so you use this and it should balance itself out naturally and you want to get both sides to the zero here they're there at the moment so i need a little bit more you can just pump it a little bit just to try and even it up you can see how one side goes down and the other side goes up, but it, it balances it itself off. Now I'll put this end cap back on. Everything's set up, ready to test. Imagine that this is your underground drainage pipe with joins in, so that's the reason why you're doing it. Obviously test it like this to begin with. Everything's on zero. Now you're gonna use this pump to pressurize this pipe. You're gonna put air into here, and then that's gonna force the air all the way around this into this tube and therefore th this end of the tube is open to the atmosphere so the pressure is going to build up here and then naturally there's going to be pressure from the atmosphere that wants to push it back that way if you've got any gaps in the system it's going to let it out here so it equalizes because the pressure wants to equalize we're at zero at the moment you need to pump this until it's the column of water goes up on one side and you're going to want to get it to a hundred and then you're going to lock off this pump even though it's only got a, it's got one way valve in it but you just lock it off just in case so you're going to leave it for five minutes and then you're going to come back and have a look it's been five minutes now you check it so the liquid has dropped it shouldn't have done so i've got a leak somewhere but we'll just tighten things up again 
just to check it. And then the second time round, you want to top it back up to 100 again and then you time it for another five minutes. I actually had another couple of turns on bungs there. So the first time it's just to make it settle. And then the, the second time is the actual test. So I'm gonna pump it back up to 100, clamp it, start the timer and wait. Five minutes, it has dropped, it, it shouldn't have done. I don't know whether you can see it there. It's dropped to 90. For all intents and purposes, that is a pass. So after five minutes, it can't drop below 75, which is about here on there. So yeah, we've got another, what, 15 to go at whatever this measurement is. That That is a pass. Uh, yesterday when I was playing about with this, I got it to stay exactly on 100. So I've got a leak somewhere in this system. Now I'm gonna test it on my actual pipe works because uh, all these joins that I've got, I need to make sure that there's no leaking points. These are the first two that I'm gonna check. They're two separate runs. One ends up there and the other's just over there. You can only do it in between the inspection chambers. So I bung it there and then the other side. Then I need to test from here for that run down to the inspection chamber at the ends because I've got several joints there. And then over here, I need to test that one up to here, which I'm not looking forward to. I'll, I'll show you, well, I won't show you that. <laughs> uh, I'll tell you about it. From here down to that one, and then that one down to that one, and then I've got little individual ones to do there. I've got the one from the cart lodge, but that's live at the moment. But that comes down here, sweeps down here and then connects into here. And because it's, it builds up, it's a, uh, imagine it's like a log flume. <laughs> it comes down here and then it goes in an angle here and then the outlet goes into here and drops down there. Because it comes in at such a pace here, it kind of splashes that way a little bit. Uh, so I'm not sure whether I will test that one. I need to, so that the stuff goes up this pipe a little bit, which won't be an issue when this is running because you'll have water coming down here, washing that down naturally. You're supposed to really test this as you go when you actually put the pipes in um, and then you backfill and then you test again. And when I spoke to the building inspector, I said, what do I need to do about it? Like with the testing and everything. And he said, look, it's, it's on the forms, but we're just going to ask you whether you've air tested it and you just need to say yes. So they don't actually want to see me air test it, but obviously for content and everything, and I want to make sure it's proper anyway. I'm sure loads of people or builders don't bother testing it at all. And then that will enable me to actually backfill this. You can probably see that all the sides have already caved in. Uh, I'm not supposed to have 40 mil stones around these pipes. So I need to clean that out and then surround it with more pea shingle over there and then I can backfill it properly and the reason why I need to do that is because I need to have this level so I can get this all sorted. Um, I've been waiting because I've done I fitted that window the other day or last week and I've done my back in. I've not really been in a position to be digging or anything uh, but it's, it's pretty much I'm 90% there so I reckon I could do it. And then I can get the digger and just sort it out. Let's shove this in and then we'll see whether it's any good. Lucky enough, this isn't that deep. Uh, yeah, so you need to make sure that there's no grip around it or anything. I'm gonna test that run first. It does smell a bit earthy because obviously the water sewage treatment plant, it's live. The other side, and go in here. I just took it out because I forgot to wipe it. So it's got a load of crust on it. So that would have affected the test. Ready to test my 
phone has run out of batteries, so get one of these bad boy, can you see that? <laughs> right. Uh five minutes, we'll pump it up to hundred. I'll go through the test. Place your bets. Well, it's been five minutes. Uh I, I put it up past a hundred. Uh it was actually a it was at 110 and it's dropped down to 108 probably uh right i suppose i should be doing the accurate test now i need to drop that pressure down a little bit um maybe if i unclip this okay that took like five ten minutes for it to get down to 100. <laughs> i'll lock that off we'll give it five minutes what do you reckon it's going to drop down to i i think it won't go lower than 95 which is like a star in it. Been five minutes, what do you reckon it is? What do you reckon it is? Turn the light on so you can see it. Uh, is it? It's still bang on 100. No, no leaks at all. No leaks at all. Absolutely smashed it. So I've got a few more to do. Testing uh, Lou, my partner, she wants to go out to the gym. So I'm gonna go in and out looking after my little dog because he's unwell at the moment and then as soon as I've tested I can crack on and get it all backfilled I'll order the digger and stuff uh, talking of cracks though I have got one that goes down there so if you're interested in seeing out exactly how I'm going to sort that out as well then make sure you subscribe hit the bell notification thanks for watching I'll see you later Ninety five percent of you have probably already clicked off. So you wouldn't know that this second one failed miserably. And it's gonna require a second video. All about how I'm gonna fix it.